Hello there, it's Sandy all off with some clean and simple Valentines today. And I am going to use some polychromos pencils on Stonehenge drawing paper. The stamp lion is from Brave Hearted by Ellen Hudson. And the little dies, these little speech bubble dies are from MFT and they are the cutest little thing. I'll show you an example of a card using this die in the way that I pictured it in my head when I bought it so that you can kind of get an idea of a lot more ways that you can use this particular die. But for now, I'm gonna do clean and simple. I picked out a couple of red and pink colors and some of them are warm and some of them are cool. And you have to be a little careful when you use warm and cool together. They kind of change each other and there's little shifts that happen and you'll see that more in the lion. When you use them on a tiny heart like this, they all kind of blend together. There is a little piece of masking tape on the back of that heart just so things will stay in place for the video, but not needed necessarily to do that. This is the warm pink color. And it's not necessarily pink, it's more like a medium red-ish. And I'm gonna turn it into a pink though, because I wanted one color that was going to be warmer on the flesh of the lion where the hair, the fur is shorter. And then I want the mane to be kind of wild and have some shock pink coming through and some purple coming through. So that's why I picked a bunch of different kinds of colors so I can have that mix between the different types of pinks on this one. So I'm gonna get the very light coat of this down first and then put white over top of it and look how it makes it a nice soft pink because they don't make a soft pink in the color that I wanted. I wanted like a super soft coral and this is not quite coral, but it has that flavor to it compared with what I'm gonna use for the rest of the mane. because so I want the mane to feel very different and have a different texture and everything. So I'm gonna complete a little bit more on the schnoz here of my lion. And then I'm gonna take my really cool pink. And this one has, it, it's a little more of a purple flavor to a, a cool color um, or a cool pink. If it's a warm pink, it feels more like maybe a tomato and a cool pink is more like a cherry. Not sure if that helps to describe it a little, but you can see it's more of a true pink pink that most people think of when you think of a, a bright kind of crazy pink. And I'm gonna put down a coat of that for the whole mane first. And I'm going outside the lines because I just wanna make a crazy mane on mine and ignore the fact that there's lines there. You could do when you're stamping it, just wipe off those outside edges and then not have to deal with them at all. But the color pencil is gonna cover it so I wasn't really worried about it. I did stamp this by the way in no line ink so that the colors kind of disappear from the stamping portion. Now I'm going through around that outside edge with the warm and I'm letting some of the cool pink still show through, but I, I put some of the warm in there. This one now is my third color and it's a little darker of a cool pink. So it goes cool, warm, cool. And then I'm gonna add one more darker purplish color. And if you saw that purple color just on a piece of paper by itself, it doesn't look very pink, but when I put it over me, over top of all of this pink, then all the other color underneath gives it more life and more character. Because otherwise it's kind of a dead-ish purple color, kind of sort of. So I'm just going around the entire thing, adding layers of pinks. You could do this with blues, you could do it with greens, you could do it with yellows, you can make your lion any color you want. Just go around with darker colors toward the face and lighter colors toward the outside. And you can play around with all different kinds of colors. This guy would even be really fun, and I might have to try him that way, as a rainbow lion. Wouldn't that be cute to try to figure out how to make a rainbow around the outside of him? I think that would be adorable. Maybe I'll do that on Instagram sometime. And once I get all of that dark color around the inside of the mane, it just starts giving it some dimension and makes the face pop forward and everything, which is really kind of cool. It just gives the whole thing a totally different flavor. And I also love the fact that he is pink. It's an unexpected color to have for him. So I love that. For the eyes and the nose and the mouth and the whiskers, I'm just going to use a black pencil. And I'll leave a little bit of a highlight, even though it's a gray because of the gray ink underneath of it, it looks like a white highlight on it. So if you 
have an ink that's too dark, you can always just use a white pen or something to make a highlight on it. Make sure you make the face smiley. So I, I did a little extra up curve on the outside so that he looks like he's definitely smiling. And then went over the whiskers to add a little bit of that to it. And then I added a shadow. If the light was coming from the upper right, then his shadow would be cast off to the left with a little shadow for the tail. And I even put a shadow for the speech bubble. So it looks like the speech bubble has a dimension to it and is casting a shadow down there on the ground as well. I'm not sure if anybody will notice that when they get the card, but I think it helps the card anyway. And after I went over that black with the white, white pencil, it lightened it up. You could use a gray pencil instead, but since that was sitting on my desk, I decided to use those. And his body needed a little more detail, so I just went into some of the darker areas and darkened them up and went in between the toes to give them a little definition. And then I cut the panel down so it's four by five and a quarter, so it's smaller than my card front, put some dimensional adhesive on it, including a little bit right around that speech bubble window, and then attached it to the card base. And the little heart, I have a tiny piece of dimensional on it as well, just pop that into the middle of the speech bubble. The speech bubble itself, I could glue onto another card and use it elsewise, which would be another way to use the leftover piece of that, which is really fun. But this is a really simple card. You can use it for actually a Valentine card. You can use it for an anytime card. You can make a birthday card out of it. Whatever sentiment you put on the inside will customize the card to make it look like whatever you want it to be. I promised you some other cards, and these are some card fronts that I had made and didn't have a sentiment on, and I thought they would work perfect having the little speech bubble cut out of them. So it's just another way that you can use these dies. A little bit of housekeeping now to do. One thing is that this evening I'm going to have a Facebook Live, and it's going to be in colored pencil. You just need a yellow and orange, a reddish purple, and a bluish purple. And you can pick up the free downloadable image over on MFT's blog today. And I thought it would be really fun for you to come to that. It would be really great to see you there. And over on their channel on the same blog post is my video for the day with them. I do a guest video for them each month. And this one happens to be with the Hug It Out stamp set and also using colored pencils. So it is a colored pencil day all around for me today. So if you're interested, all the links to all that stuff are in the doobly-doo down below. You can check it out. And I hope to see you on Facebook tonight. Make sure you get that printout ready so we can color together. And if you like this video, click the like button, share it with a friend, invite somebody else to come with you to the Facebook Live, and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.